Hello everyone. Today the video presentation is about a traditional radical nephrectomy for a right-sided renal tumor around 7 cm in diameter. A right subcostal incision was performed. The next step was to mobilize the hepatic flexure of the colon medially and inferiorly, exposing the gerota's fascia and the second part of the duodenum. The pointer shows the second part of the duodenum which must be mobilized medially to reveal the renal hilum. This procedure is known as coherization. The dissection is now carried out posterior to the kidney through the pararenal fat. Following the posterior mobilization, inferior dissection is performed around the lower pole of the kidney. We encountered the ureter during this part of the dissection. The ureter is then divided and the distal stump was carefully secured to avoid a post-operative urinoma. If the patient has a transitional cell lesion involving the renal pelvis, it is standard practice to excise the entire length of the ureter. Now you see the inferior vena cava very clearly and we recommend completely exposing the IVC since it would give us good access to the renal hilum and the short renal vein on the right side.
The next step is to perform the superior dissection over the superior pole of the kidney and the adrenal gland. Care must be taken when separating and securing the short right adrenal vein. Finally, the renal vessels were divided, allowing us to deliver the kidney. You can see intact gerotas fascia around the specimen both anteriorly and posteriorly. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.